March. And as more and more people get a COVID-19 vaccine, we're starting to notice an interesting change in the numbers of infections, hospitalizations and deaths. Take a look. Let's talk waves. No, not those waves, COVID waves. In 2020, every wave of cases resulted in a similar looking wave of hospitalizations and deaths. As cases increased, a week or so later, so would hospitalizations. And as hospitalizations increased a few weeks later, so unfortunately would deaths. Even the cases would peak. The wave would crest and hospitals would start to calm, which brings us to a critical goal of vaccinations. With Delta circulating, we know we're going to see more waves. The key is, will the vaccine ease the hospitalizations and deaths that routinely followed last year? Take the United Kingdom, for example. A few months ago, cases once again started to rise quickly and another wave was upon them. But this time in a country with more than 60% of its residents vaccinated, the case wave was not followed by a similar increase in hospitalizations. Take a look. While cases jumped like this, hospitalizations didn't. The two metrics in essence decoupled from one another, and that's a good sign. The vaccine is working by preventing most serious of cases. Problem is, that's not what we're seeing in many states in the U.S. Take a look at Idaho and Tennessee, for example. The two states, far apart, both have seen recent record case spikes, which have led to sharp and record-breaking increases in hospitalizations as well. No decoupling in either. And there are now more people in Tennessee and Idaho hospitals than at any previous point in the pandemic. Why is this? Well, it's not entirely clear. Although pockets of both states remain highly unvaccinated and thus unprotected from the virus, why pay attention to this? Because as long as cases and hospitalizations continue to rise in unison, it's going to be tough to put these waves and thus the pandemic itself behind us. And take a look here at the confirmed cases and hospitalizations in the state. A surge in cases is usually mirrored by a surge in deaths. State officials say unvaccinated people are eight times more likely to get infected compared to those who are fully vaccinated. While more than 78% of Californians have gotten at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine, that's according to the most recent data. And a new report from the Sacramento Grand Jury recommends all 13 school districts in the county mandate vaccine for eligible students and staff. Well, in a statement, it says children ages 12 and under are the most vulnerable because they are not eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine at this time and the grand jury seeks to protect them.